Howdy! Hey, it's Half Texan. Um, today we'll be teaching you how to braid. If you guys don't know how to, I'll just braid it down her back. Um, I also will be trying showing you how to do a French braid, which is the next step up. Braiding is the basics, very basics. Um, so if you guys don't know how to braid already, here you go. Let's get started. You want to grab a little strip like this. I know. I'm, I'm just going to show you at the top. So you grab it in three like this. Even. So to braid, remember we're just doing the regular. Bring it over like this so it should look like that. You just bring it over again. You just keep bringing the outside in like that. It should end up looking like that. You guys can comment below if you need anything else to teach you how to. Um, it really just takes practice. Um, I'll show you a few clips of or a few photos of some cool hairdos you can do out of this little braid from the top. Like this, you can add a few more, like two more right here and two more right there, and bring them into a ponytail and then braid it down. It looks pretty, it looks very pretty. So now we're gonna do a French braid. Split it into three parts like this. Like just like the regular braid. You start three strands, you bring one over, then the other. Then with your, you put them all in your left hand, grab some hair, add it to this one, Ooh. and bring it over. Same on the other side, put them all in your right hand, grab some hair from the left side, and bring it over. So now I now you just go down down your hair like the same way you do the braid you just grab some hair each time like this Put on some music for you. Chin down. Once you get to here, you just grab the rest of your hair and do the regular braid down like this. Grab a little hair tie. Or rubber band. 
Oh no. Sorry about that. Drop the camera. Get back to here. Grab your rubber band. Bring it around. You can use a hair tie like this one. Like this one. Or like this one. They're just different thicknesses. There's also just little rubber bands. I like them more. They don't work as well with thick hair. Only because they don't. They don't, yeah, they're, your hair is so thick that they're harder to get around and stay. Plus, they really hurt to get out. When you're using rubber bands, use uh, rubber bands that are specifically made for hair. Do not use what will be used. Don't use rainbow loom bands. They break really easily. Yeah. They get old. And they, and they break your hair, yeah. which hurts, and you get really bad split ends. Uh, yeah. Hope you like it. Looks like that. All the way from the top, straight down. To add some more, if her hair is really thin, her hair is really thick, so I don't really need to do this. But to make it look thicker, you can pull out right on the edge, like that. Makes it look thick and pretty. Yeah. Hope you like it. Subscribe down below. And don't go ahead and check out my channel in the description. Check. I'll be doing anything from, from gameplays to vlogs and to stuff like what she does. And then, uh, and don't forget to like the video because this is an awesome person. Awesome. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeehaw! Woo!